Hello everybody. So it's time for another citrus. This one I found at an Asian supermarket uh, under the name Japanese Pomelo. And what this is, is a little bit more complicated than that. This is not a pomelo. This is a very unique hybrid fruit. It's got a few other names to it. Another one is a uh, cocktail grapefruit and another one is a uh, mandalo. So let's do another citrus sex kind of breakdown of what is the parentage of this fruit. First, you take a mandarin. Next, you take a sweet orange. You cross them together and you get a tangor. Now, tangor, I believe I talked about those in the past. This is not just any tangor though, it's a special variety of tangor, meaning you know, the seeds of that tangor are planted and eventually you get a tree that is going to have different characteristics than another one. So you take a very specific one called the King Tangor and you put that right here. Okay, so we've got the King Tangor right there. Next, you take a Dancy Mandarin, a different Mandarin than the one that is in that Tangor. The Dancy Mandarin is a specific variety of mandarin. You put that right there. So you take the King Tangor and the Dancy Mandarin, you combine those and you get something called the Frua Mandarin. And next you take a pomelo, and not just any pomelo, a specific pomelo called a Thai Sweet Pomelo. So similar to the King Tangor and the Dancy Mandarin, it is a pomelo, but it's a specific variety. You take these two, you combine them together, and ba-bam, you get the cocktail grapefruit, Japanese pomelo, mandalo, etc. Now, the name mandalo is really confusing for this because it, it gets that name because you're taking a mandarin and a pomelo and crossing them, but you're not taking a regular mandarin and a regular pomelo and crossing them because if you were to do that, you would get something else, an orange. Yeah, if you take those two things and you combine them, you get an orange. But because we're dealing with specific, crazy, hybridized versions of a mandarin and a uh, pomelo, you're getting a different type of fruit. And people compare this more to a grapefruit, which is something else completely different. If you want to learn more about different citrus hybridizations and how we have an orange and a grapefruit and etc., etc., uh, check out my citrus sex videos, which I'll put in the description below. But this one is very different than an orange. It's very different than a grapefruit. It's very different than a pomelo. So it's its own unique thing. So you can see here that there are little bits of yellow on it, on uh, what is mostly a green fruit. The market I bought this from also had some that were purely green all around. And I've seen pictures online of some that are completely yellow. So it's sold in all different forms, but that's just a, a level of ripening for it. So I'm just going to review it how, um, how it's most commonly available at the, the market I went to. The shape of it is kind of like a pomelo. It's like if you took a pomelo and kind of like shrunk it down because it has a flat bottom to it. On the inside, you have kind of a yellowish, orangish color, similar to how an orange looks. All the seeds were like right at the very top of the slice, so it was actually very easy to kick those out. So I took, I already de-seeded it, it just took a second. That's actually really good. I would say it does taste similar to a pomelo. If you haven't had a pomelo, pomelos taste a little bit like grapefruit, but not nearly as bitter, much more mild, and maybe a little bit sweeter. So this has a flavor that's like that. There's like a little hint of the bitterness that you would get from a grapefruit in there, but it's not to a level where you'd need to put sugar on it or anything. Like a grapefruit is, is an intense fruit to eat out of hand. This one you could eat out of hand without like any problem. The sweetness on this is higher than an orange, I would say. It's maybe a six out of ten on my sugar scale. The sourness is about the same as an orange. I'd say like a five, maybe a six. There's a little bit of tartness there. It does have a bit of an orange flavor in there, 
which makes sense given its parentage. And it does definitely have the grapefruit taste. It kind of tastes like a mix between the two. Uh, I'm guessing that the rind is not going to taste good, but let's give it a try anyway. Yep. Ha. Tastes like biting into an, an orange rind. People do use the rind for candying. You can candy it, you can um, zest it and use that in, in cooking. People do use that. I don't have anything else to say about this, but it is an interesting one for sure. And I really am fascinated with the hybridization of citrus fruits. It is like such a bizarre network that will give you like any citrus that you find at the supermarket. Everything you come across is a hybridization of different fruits. I find the whole thing very fascinating and I hope that this was uh, interesting for you to watch. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Before you click out, I have a very special birthday announcement today for Yandel. Uh, Yandel, happy birthday. Uh, your mom let me know through patreon.com that you're turning 18 today. So I uh, just want to wish you well and hope you have a great year.